so now we see the equivalent weight of uh, an element or equivalent weight of a compound in which there is a no redox reaction takes place mean just we are calculating equivalent weight of an element or equivalent weight of a compound in a non redox reaction okay till now we have already calculated the equivalent weight of different elements in their redox reactions so now we see equivalent weight of some elements so what is the equivalent weight of uh, an element we can write the atomic weight its atomic weight by its valency so so this is general formula to calculate equivalent weight of uh, elements that is equivalent weight of an element equals its atomic weight by valency if you are calculating a molecule we can take a molecular weight but here we are discussing about the elements so equivalent weight of an element is its atomic weight by valency for example equivalent weight of uh, oxygen oxygen atomic weight uh, 16 by its valency o always uh, having minus 2 charge its valency is 2 so equivalent weight of oxygen equal to 8 so equivalent weight of uh, aluminium so its atomic weight 27 we know that aluminium valency always plus 3 is equal to 9 so the equivalent weight of hydrogen so atomic weight 1 valency also 1 So the equivalent weight of uh, sodium. Sodium means uh, 23 by sodium is always exists in a plus one state. Means its valency is one. So equivalent weight of magnesium. So its atomic weight. Magnesium valency is always plus two. There is two units. The equivalent weight of calcium. Its atomic weight by valency. Calcium always exists in a plus two. So these are the equivalent weight of uh, different elements. For example, equivalent weight of uh, copper. That is sixty-three point five by one. So it depends on its oxidation state because copper can present in a Cu plus one or Cu plus two. So depending on the reaction. So it depends on plus one or plus two. Okay. So these are the equivalent weight of uh, different elements. How to calculate the weight? Equivalent weight of the element is called its atomic weight by valency. So valency is always a fixed one for general elements. But very few elements having different valency. We need to take uh, their particular valency in a given reaction. So now this is the equivalent weight of uh, a compound. So equivalent weight of a compound is uh, so a compound means its molecular weight. Or we can write uh, formula weight. There is no change uh, in formula weight and molecular weight. There is no change in numerical value. Molecular weight, nothing but formula weight by total positive and positive charge. Or negative charge units. So we know that in any compound. There is a positive charges are exactly equal to the negative charge. So no need to indicate the sign here. Just we are using units. How many number of positive units? How many number of negative units? We we need to write only that particular units, not positive and negative sign. For example, potassium chloride. So what is the molecular weight of potassium chloride? Here potassium thirty nine. So we know that the, the positive charge of K is plus one, negative charge minus one. Total positive charge plus one, negative charge plus one. Main charge is only one unit. So 
that is equal to 74.5 in the same way for example so this is general method to calculate equivalent weight of compounds for example equivalent weight of uh, MgCl2 so what is Mg at 24 Cl2 means this is a 71 so what is the charge in it Mg plus 2 and there is 2 Cl minus 2 negative charge is 2 positive charge positive charge units so it is a uh, by 2 so it is approximately 47.5 so there is an alternate method there is an another alternate method to calculate equivalent weight of compounds So, for example, equal in, the, in this method, if you calculate equivalent weight of aluminium chloride, so what is that aluminium 27, each chlorine having 35.5. By what is the charge mentioned here? Al plus 3, 3 Cl minus. Total charge units are 3 units. And finally, here we get a So this is the general method. So already we done there are some problems KCL and MgCl2. So this method we done the uh, equivalent weight of AlCl3 in this method. So there is an another alternate method. For example, equivalent weight of AlCl3 is equal. So there is a possibility of uh, another method. The equivalent weight of aluminium and equivalent weight of Cl. What is the equivalent weight of aluminium? We know that. 27 by its charge Cl is its atomic weight by its valency 1 because always Cl carries minus 1 charge here yeah, 9 plus so, so these are the two different methods to calculate the equivalent weight of uh, some compounds so we use uh, any one Okay, generally this method is uh, suitable when compared to this. See the other one. So for example, equivalent weight of uh, MgCl2 already we calculated. So in the second method, already we completed the first method to this one. So now we are taking a uh, in second method that is equivalent weight of magnesium and equivalent weight of chlorine. Magnesium is 24 by 2 and it is equal to 47.5 exactly if you do the first method or second method we get the exact value so it is totally your chance to follow any of the methods now we see some problems based on uh, this criteria okay So now we see the related problem. So that is a uh, one gram of a metal oxide, one gram of a metal oxide gave zero point two grams of metal. This metal oxide given a metal. So we need to calculate the equivalent weight of metal. 
so this metal oxide released that metal the metal oxide released this much of metal so here we can write uh, equivalent weight of metal oxide so this is first method here also there are two methods are present so follow the first method first equivalent weight of uh, metal oxide is equal to equivalent weight of uh, equivalent weight of sorry it is uh, as it is a it formed exactly oxide so there is equivalent weight of metal oxide is equal to we can write equivalent weight of uh, metal so as we don't know the equivalent uh, the weight of uh, sorry equivalent weight of metal so there we can write another formula that is uh, equivalent weight of uh, metal oxide is also equal to equivalent weight of oxygen so now we see so we, we are following this formula now so if the metal is forming uh, its oxide means uh, and it is also releasing metal so here we can write the equivalent weight of metal oxide exactly equal to the equivalent weight of metal or uh, the metal oxide is equal to equivalent weight of oxygen okay so what is the equivalent weight of oxide so its weight what is the metal oxide weight so 1 gram by metal oxide equivalent weight we know the metal oxide formula so we can't write uh, the charge directly so metal oxide equivalent weight of metal oxide we know the earlier discussion that uh, metal oxide equivalent weight of metal oxide equal to <coughs> weight by equivalent weight so here equivalent not exactly equivalent here equivalent not the equivalent weight so equivalent of metal equivalent of metal equivalent means so what is equivalent equivalence is equal to weight by equivalent weight just ikka mana kodi kada rasam equivalent weight kada equivalence equivalence ki equivalent ki difference chedithe equivalence means weight by equivalent weight so its so weight is given 1 gram equivalent weight of uh, metal oxide means equivalent weight of metal plus equivalent weight of oxygen is equal equivalent weight of uh, for equivalence of oxygen equivalence of oxygen means uh, weight of oxygen so what is the weight of oxygen here the metal oxygen weight 1 gram metal weight 0.2 gram so that is what is the weight of oxygen now 1 here minus 0.2 Here we get zero point eight, and we know it's a uh, equivalent weight. What is the equivalent weight of oxygen? Equivalent weight of oxygen means uh, atomic weight by its valency. We know that. That is equivalent weight of metal plus. So here we know the equivalent weight of uh, oxygen. Equivalent weight of oxygen means. Its atomic weight by valency. Its atomic weight by valency. So now we need to calculate the equivalent weight of uh, this metal. so here we can uh, 
so 0.1 equivalent weight of metal plus Zero point eight uh, <coughs> is equal to one. So zero point one equivalent weight of metal is equal to is one minus zero point eight. And we get, we get equivalent of metal is equal to 0 0.2 by 0.1 that is equal to 2. So the equivalent weight of that metal is equal to 2. Equivalent weight of that metal is equal to 2. So there is no need to uh, find what is the metal and what its valency. Just uh, it is also that equivalent weight of metal. So that is equivalent of metal is equal to 2. Okay, you see. So here. A metal oxide is formed with metal and it also releases oxygen. So it indicates that uh, equivalence of metal oxide is equal to equivalence of metal or we can write equivalence of metal oxide is equal to equivalence of oxygen. So equivalence and equivalent weight are totally different. Equivalence means nothing but weight by equivalent weight. So metal oxide equivalent weight equivalent means its weight by equivalent weight. Metal oxide is metal, metal equivalent weight plus oxygen that is 16 by 2. So for the same for oxygen <coughs> and finally we get equivalent of metal equal to. So for this type of problems we can use an another method. So see the second method. Let's take the first method now. Okay, see the second method. Here, a metal is formed oxide. So, it happens only by reacting with the equivalent weight of uh, equivalence of metal, it must be equal to equivalence of oxygen. So, metal oxide, no, metal oxygen reacting, okay, metal oxide forming, okay? Equivalence of metal or exactly equal to. Equivalence of uh, oxygen. So, equivalence means uh, we know that uh, weight. Weight by equivalent weight. So, what is the weight of metal? 1. By what is the equivalent weight of metal? We don't know that. We need to calculate it. What is the equivalent weight of oxygen? Equivalent weight of uh, oxygen equals same weight of oxygen. So, what is the weight of oxygen here? Equivalent weight of. So, here we need to equivalent weight of metal. So, metal means we need to write uh, weight of metal. Sorry. Weight of metal by equivalent weight of metal equal equal weight of oxygen means weight of oxygen by equivalent weight of oxygen so what is the weight of metal here in product one it is one gram directly written here but it is wrong one so one gram is metal oxide so what is the metal part here metal is only 0 0.2 we need to calculate equivalent weight of metal what is the weight of oxygen? So weight of oxygen means uh, the weight of metal oxide is 1, metal is 0 0.2. So this 1 uh, subtracting 0.2 we will get uh, equivalent weight of oxygen means that is equal to 8. So therefore equivalent of uh, metal is equal to 0.2. So this is an alternate method to calculate it. Generally we follow this uh, second method for further problems. Okay.